They may be uh, looking at easing him into this game with that injured ankle. McGovern does well, going to ground initially with Griffin, then stacks on the mill, so there'll be a ball up to follow the throw in. Richardson getting his hands on it early. High ball. McGovern again, the flyer. Kicks down towards uh, right half forward. Oh, McGovern works his uh, lane to best position and takes the mark. It was the number 42 last year that tore Subi apart in the grand final. Richardson in the pocket. There goes the kick back to the half forward line. In front was McGovern, couldn't take the mark. Good strong spoil by Mitch Brown. Another yeah. chance, however, for Medhurst. Gets it onto his right. Both got a piece of it. Shammer, though, gets the clearance for Claremont. A bit of a high up and under. Goes to the point of the centre square at left half forward. What a great attack on the ball by McGovern, who completed the mark. Now he's called to play on. Squeezes a kick away. Looking for Foster, who fell over. Has it again. Very, very wide. Wants to get around Nisbet. Looking for options, but needs to go laterally oh, and dangerously to the aforementioned Brock O'Brien. Knocked away from him by McGovern. No easy possession still for East Fremantle. The ball picked up by McGovern when Bayless failed to do so. From just in front of the centre square. Lobs it up high. Medhurst takes the mark. Just walks around onto his right foot. Across his shoulder the way he likes to do it. And Paul Medhurst has got his third goal. 34 points the margin. Rob Young moved into the ruck and uh, McGovern's there, gets the run up. Can continue this in the second quarter to give us a game at half time. Tigers kicked eight goals to one in that opening term and East Romano have kicked uh, four of uh, the five goals in this term. Yeah, their VFL team have got over the top of uh, Port Melbourne today. McGovern yeah, just yeah. dumps it forward for Claremont. Inside their attacking okay. 50. They have to restructure, change it up a bit. Obviously, Brock O'Brien's an important player and we hope he's okay, but. Medhurst, he's well down the ground. He's kicked four goals in the first quarter. Centering kick is a beauty. Great vision. Finds McGovern. He can run to 50 and score. Sends it on its way. Pushes it right. In the end, a good build-up, but uh, a disappointing finish. Jeremy McGovern, who's played well. Clement 11-11. And leading East Randall 6-3. Releases the footy. Walton, this time the hand pass is good. Two, McGovern, one step, high kick, long in toward the goal square. Henson by hand goes back to Cooper, jams it on the boot, high up and under, howling underneath it. Knocked away from the side by uh, McGovern, and out of bounds. We'll have a throw in at half forward. Gee, come on. Played in the Colts Premiership under Malaxis in uh, 2010. Jaden Schofield spent 2011 at the Western Bulldogs for seven games. Right on the 50. He's got McGovern short if he wants him. Tries to get the ball to McGovern now. Over the top of Cooper's head. And between Andrew and Stephen arriving late, McGovern wants to share it off. Does so and gives it to Richardson who tries to stage for 50. Brennan was there. Tried to reel the ball in. Emerging though is McGovern. Hand pass to Richardson. Richardson's control was sublime. But the kick. Number 42, Jeremy McGovern. Pinched hit in the ruck throughout the afternoon. He's had a great season. His first league premiership today, he's played in three grand finals with the Tigers for two flags. And he's got a premiership medallion in his own right today. Number 43, Nick Subin. Handy uh, one to come.